going on, Pisces? Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, please do so then you'll know when I'm here with new content, okay? Um, this reading is a new segment for me uh, where I'm checking the blind spot, the things that you're missing in your life, some of the things that you're not able to see for whatever reason. Uh, Spirit came to me and asked me to do this uh, for, for the collective, so hopefully it helps or guides some of you out here. I'm using the Blind Spot Oracle Cards um, by Till Swan. Um, this um, energy could be masculine or feminine, okay? Also know that you could place it on whatever side. You may say, hey, that's my energy or there's someone in my energy. Um, you have free reign to put the energy wherever you need to, okay? So this is going to be uh, a monthly segment that I do. Just checking on uh, some of the things that you guys need to be aware of, okay? So let's get into whatever this energy is. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Okay. So you have a number 61, which breaks down to a 7. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a minute. But let me just look at these cards here and see what came out here. So you have community. Um, you may have a situation that um, is recurring or you may have someone that's around you that you're thinking of um, reconnecting with or that wants to reconnect with you. Um, you may be uh, spending time with family or friends at this time, uh, trying to figure out what it is that you want, would want in your life. Okay, you may be seeing things as well that you're saying, you know what? I'm emotionally available. I'm emotionally intelligent. I'm emotionally um, ready for um, everything that is due me from the universe, right? I'm ready for those things that uh, catapult me to the next level, right? With this King of Cups card. I'm ready to give to the right person. I'm ready to accept uh, love from the right person, right? I understand how things work a little bit better now. A month ago, years ago, I was not the person that I am right now, Pisces. This is what you're saying, right? I'm in touch with myself. I know who I am. I know what I want. I know what I need. I need a mature, uh, stable person that is not going to be here trying to betray me or hurt me any longer. Um, if this person is not showing up, uh, with trying to be the person that gives me happiness and joy, um, then they cannot be in my life because I'm not trying to hear it. This is what I'm seeing here, okay, Pisces. Now, because I don't have this deck uh, memorized, we're going to jump in and I'm going to read to you what this card means, number 61. Again, this is the Blind Spot Oracle cards. <clears throat> And please forgive my raspiness. I do have allergies and a cold. So that's why I'm lagging with this message. So excuse me for taking too long with getting it to you. All right. So here's the message. We have uh, temporality. So with this card, what is preventing your progression is that you're either too attached to the temporal in general or to an aspect of the temporal. This has caused you to lose sight of the bigger picture, which includes much more than the temporal world. You might be looking for a solution that does not exist in the temporal world. That is like looking for a lost key, but being convicted or convinced that you are the key and the key is somewhere in one specific room. And never finding it because the key you're looking for is not even in that room, right? The temporal world, and I'm, I know that I have an accent, temporal, it's T-E-M-P-O-R-A-L, because I know someone is saying, what is she saying? Uh, the temporal world is a world of the purely physical. It is particles, body, color, shape, soma, physical health. And the physical aspect of sex, money, houses, places, things, the physical aspect of food, plants, people and pets, possessions, etc. It is the realm of the material. If you have drawn this card, you may be so invested in the physical and probable and rational and even potentially 
the type of science that is purely focused on physicality and those same things. That you have forgotten that there is more to the universe than meets the eye. The physical world uh, may seem secular, but it isn't. The physical world is not separate from spirit. It is a manifestation of spirit. You are denying the majority of the universe and actually the majority of yourself if you have invested in this way. Because of this, you might be more skeptical than you should be. By closing down your mind, you become unable to experience other potentials and other realities. You become selectively ignorant. Perhaps this card is telling you to look into being more open-minded and have more faith. To have faith is to have positive confidence or trust in something. It is to think something is true, even without proof. The famous philosopher, philosopher Bertrand Russell once said, where there is evidence, no one speaks of faith. We do not speak of faith that two and two are four or that the earth is round. We only speak of faith when we wish to substitute emotion for evidence. Unfortunately for Bertrand Russell, he is forgetting something. The first person who believed the earth was round enough to be motivated to set out to prove that it was round, right? Had to go on faith before there was proof to back up that belief, right? So somewhere here, guys, you've lost your faith. Um, and you may be looking at everyone as someone that can potentially hurt you instead of you saying, you know what? I have everything within me, emotional intelligence, to be able to use my discernment, to be able to, to pick a person um, that is good, that is here for my, my well-being, that is here to invest in me, that is here to work on having a loving, caring, happy home. Okay, so you guys need to be uh, mindful that you may have been hurt so bad that now you're looking at everything in, in a way to where it could potentially hurt you instead of you looking at the goodness. Now, I'm not saying that using your discernment is a bad thing. It's always good to use your discernment, but you really want to give things a chance as well. You know, you have got to have the faith. Right. And just a, just a short story before I get back to the read here. I recently started dating again. Um, I've been single for like 10 years, guys. OK, um, I have dated here and there. I've had sneaky links. I've had friends with benefits, stuff of that nature. But I have not been in a relationship um, since my youngest son, who is now 11's father. OK, um, the reason for that is because, you know, my mind had me so paranoid about what may happen or what, you know, if I do this, then they'll do that. Um, so I just kept myself in a, in a sense of, you know, having the connections that worked for me. Um, and I was depriving myself, as I've seen, you know, and I, I understand now of having something real or some someone that was there for the long haul, not just a good time um, because of my fear. OK, so you guys may be in, in a similar boat. OK, and, and it's, you know, sorry for the transparency, but I really do feel like my job here as a reader is not only and I'm also a spirituality coach, it's not only to guide you or to show you what the universe has for you, what spirit has to say to you. But it's also for me to share my life with you so that you can see I'm no different than you, right? Um, so that you can see that, you know, people do go through what you go through. You're not alone. And, and there's a lot of things out here that we all experience and we may even be experiencing them at the same time, okay? So this is why we tap in. This is why I come here 
this is why um, I make sure um, to come and speak to you guys and, and spend time with you. Okay, so that's for someone. I don't know who that's for. Maybe for a lot of people, but I just want you guys to understand. Now, let's get back to this. this is as many people believe that faith is the absence of doubt. This could be further from the truth. We only think that faith is the absence of doubt when we confuse faith with knowing. To doubt is to have uncertainty about something. Faith cannot exist in a universe of certainty because certainty is knowing. Faith is not required when we know. And so if doubt is uncertainty, doubt is a necessary condition of faith. If we take doubt a step further, and let doubt mean what it means emotionally to most people, whatever that may be. To doubt is to consider something unlikely. And this is to act as if you know something that you do not know. It is to bring a sense of certainty to, the, to a universe of uncertainty. For this reason, doubt is the flip side of faith. So with this card, guys, okay, so stay with me. We're almost done. And if you've made it to here, thank you so much for hanging in because this is something that you really should know. Um, you may also be suffering because of your attachment to some aspect of the temporal, right? Perhaps it is your social status, someone else's success or state of being in the physical world relative to temporal matters, the way your body looks, your job, paying the bills, uh, things you possess or want to possess, your house, uh, a behavior, your city, your culture, your physical health, the physical aspect of self and so on, right? This card has come to tell you that the answer you seek does not lie in the physical and that you are being limited by, by your fixation on some aspect of the physical. It is like being focused on the tree. Then you forget the forest. The thoughts causing your over-identification with the aspect of the physical must be questioned. It is time to invest your focus in the higher perspective or truth that comes with the awareness that transcends physical life, space, and time, and all the things in it, okay? So what this is saying, guys, right? You may be so focused on things that you have to do, you know, uh, paying, you know, going to work. Um, if you guys run businesses, whatever that may be, whatever your life may look like, that you have basically put yourself on the back burner here, okay? You've put your needs on the back burner. You've put your life on the back burner. And you may just be going through the motions of doing everything that needs to be done. Right? Spirit is saying that you need to find your faith. You need to understand that it's never left you. But you've just buried it somewhere because of the things that's happened to you. It's okay to be afraid that you're going to be hurt again. But everything that we've ever done, as they say, with that saying, is on the other side of fear. And spirit is wanting you to push past that fear so you can have the life, the love, the joy that you've always wanted. Okay, so this is the message for you, Pisces. I send you nothing but the utmost love and light. Okay, um, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below, my loves. You guys take care.